All right, welcome back to Let's Play the Cat Lady. And please subscribe and please help me solve this puzzle. Although if you're watching this, I've already probably solved it by now. Okay, so I need to activate the machinery. And I think I have to do it by convincing the shadow reflection person to move into that thingy, the machinery thingy. Which means I have to do this. So this will move her. If I use it again. No, nothing happens. Okay. Now I know she'll move back if I use that one. What if I use this one? Oh wait, can I use both of them? Oh, I can. I totally can. Ah, now I get it. It's a lot easier than I thought. No, 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 darn it, it's not what I wanted to do, take it back, okay, so put one here, and put one here, and then press the button, the lever, Press this one. And take this one. Press this one. Take this one. And say goodbye to the lady of reflection as you kill her with the machinery. Dan da 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 dan da 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 operate the liver on the lady. Goodbye. Oh wait, she's still alive. Ah come on. Don't be like that. Now I have to use the thingamajiggy on her. Oh, this is gonna be gross, okay? Don't look. If you're squeamish, don't look. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah. All right. Okay, that did not just happen. Oh, that's so gross. So gross, so gross. Suddenly it's a train. Or not, not a train. Okay, let's go use the elevator. Listen to the song. Get out of here. I'm fine here. What have I won? Where are you, my dear? Oh no, it's dead. Oh no, it's this. Not a single sound Oh, she's still here. Interesting. Alright, let's activate this. Well, maybe it's this Goodbye, other world.
Okay. What is going on here? Oh, dead bodies, of course. people embracing each other in the bathtub in the bathtub okay what's going on is that you behind my back Mitzi Miss Ashworth I thought I thought you were dead long story I saw that man hit you right in the head me? Dead? No. No, I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? Yeah, okay. I can do that. What's this? Duct tape? Yeah, I hear loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard? It won't hurt to try. <laughs> it may it's hurt. pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. It threw it. Or but cool. cocoons stuck in a web, waiting to be eaten. Really, not a good time to or be poetic. The spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Not a good way. Pull yourself together and right stop time. talking shit. I can't exactly. think properly. Don't talk shit, man. How about those lockpicks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? We're wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick gonna help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lockpicks and think of something else, all right? Okay. Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Okay. Oh, you are a nasty piece of work, Miss A. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. You guys are crazy. Cruel. It wasn't a joke. <clears throat> I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? Nice I can't talk. reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Not the right time to fight, girls. Really? Yes. But clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. <clears throat> he might just throw our bodies in the river, or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Always an optimist. So, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. And you? 
What do you think we should do? Take a nap. We should kill the fucker. Or die. With what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? Yes. I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'm all right. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. Do you think he's going to... rape us? No, he is not. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later, they always make a mistake. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug, too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. <laughs> Oh, nice. Forward to pull. Okay, that's not much better. Especially with that hot water. So now you're wet and tired. Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. I used to like flowers, you know, like everyone else. Oh my god. Or even more. Really? There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Not the right time. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. He was a taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And I was still on maternity leave. Zoe... Our little daughter was only six months old at the time. Well, five months and twenty-eight days exactly. She would be eleven now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away, but I really liked them somehow. They were extraordinary, absolutely stunning, and looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. Alright, I'm gonna pause this here and continue this in the next part, so stay tuned and subscribe. See you soon.